Hi guys, this tutorial is going to go over trimming and cutting lines that you've already created. So let's make a new file. Hit OK. Now let's just go over shapes real quick. So up here you have, if you hold down, you have a rectangle tool, a rounded rectangle tool, an ellipse tool, polygon tool, star tool, and a flare tool. So for now let's just make a rectangle. If you hold shift, it'll make a square. If you don't hold shift, you can make any sort of rectangle. So now that has a fill here. And let's make another one that overlaps. So let's just say we wanted to cut this rectangle right on this path so it aligns with this rectangle. And the same for here. What we would do is come up to the eraser tool and hold. Hit the scissor tool or hotkey C, and we would trim it right on the intersection there. Do the same. And if we hit V, we can now take this part away. Now, what we end up with is since the fill's still on there, we take it off still end up with some overlap. Let's turn all that off. Still an overlap of this shape. So again, come up to the scissor tool. And simply just trim it out. Hit V again. Delete. Now we end up with these two paths and two shapes. So now we want to connect them. So let's hit the A key or use this cursor. Simply intersect them on space. Or you can hit P using the pen. Click on this anchor and click on this anchor. And that automatically connects the two shapes into one singular form. Do the same for the other. Now this form acts as one singular shape. You can change the fill here. Now let's use the actual eraser tool. So coming up to our scissor thing again, let's hold it down. Now this one's a bit less accurate unless you hold the shift key. So let's just click and drag and make random kind of moves throughout this whole shape. Now since this is a vector, it's going to try to interpolate a nice smoother line than what I'm drawing. Now see how it creates already a fill and a nice smooth line. This can be useful for cutting out of solid shapes coming from Rhino or any other program that uses vectors. And let's go ahead and change the fill of this to maybe a cyan. Now we can see the overlaps. 